اب میں مطمئس ہوں جو کسی طرف کے مداج نہیں میری مراد محترم قبلہ سید عبرار حسین نقوی صاحب کہ وہ ممبر فروز ہوں اور اپنے مخصوص انداز میں آج کی اس مجلس سے اعضاء کے حوالے سے اپنا نظرانہ یقید پیش کریں بلد تاکہ سلام اللہ علیہ وسلم نعرہ تکبیر اللہ اکبر نعرہ رسالت یا رسول اللہ کل ایمان نعرہ حیدری یا علی حسینیت حسینیت یزیدیت مردابت یزیدیت مردابت باواز ابلان تر سلوات اللہ صلی اللہ صلی اللہ محمد و علی محمد For the forgiveness of our sins and the sins of our Mahameen, together with the loudest of your voices, can we have a loud salawat, please? Allah, 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 For the zahoor of Imam Zamana, Imam Al-Abdi, Ajjil Allah, for the Sharif, a loud salawat. Allah, 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 well-being and the shifa of all those mu'maneen that are not well for the sake of Bab al-Haraij, Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas together with the loudest of your voices a loud salawat A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على سيد الأشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين الله تبيب قلوبنا وتبيب نفوسنا بالقاسم محمد والصلاة والسلام على أهله التجبين التاهرين المعصومين المنتجبين وَلَعْنَةُ اللَّهِ عَلَىٰ أَعْزَائِهِمْ أَجْمَعِينَ قَالَ أَزْوَجَ اللَّهُ فِي قُرْآنِ الْمَجِيدِ وَالْفُرْقَانِ الْحَمِيدِ بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قُلْ لَا أَسْعَلُكُمْ عَلَيْهِ عَجْرًا إِلَّا الْمَوَدَّةَ فِي الْكُرْبَى Loud salawat. Alhamdulillah, Allah Azzawajal, the merciful, has blessed us all that we are all the believers of Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salatu wa salam. And Alhamdulillah, today we have gathered in this majlis of Aba Abdullah al Hussein, in this gathering where the remembrance of Ali Muhammad والسلام, is taking place, the Holy Prophet says that that place where people gather and remember Ali Muhammad والسلام, that place is no less than Jannat. Yani at this moment in time we are sitting in the Jannat of this earth. And my belief is that that Jannat is better than that Jannat. That every single person is wanting why is this Jannat better? Because this is that Jannat in which Allah Azzawajal blesses every single person with the barakat of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad and sitting in this Jannat where the 14 Masumeen are sitting with us. Any a person is hoping to enter that Jannat. We don't know whether our amal are accepted. 
We read namaz. Not one person can say that before he stands on the musalla that his namaz is accepted. No person who fasts, fasts in the month of Ramadan before the month of Ramadan arrives he can say that I have yaqeen and I am certain that this fast of mine will be accepted. A person does many a'mal, many zikrs, many tasbihs, many ibadat with the hope that that amal will be accepted. But no person can say whether that amal is accepted or not. He will only find out on the day of Qiyamah. But the Holy Prophet says that every single amal will be accepted on the day of Qiyamah. But the zikr of Ali ibn Abi Talib is accepted the moment the person does the niyat for the zikr of Ali ibn Abi Talib. Baradari. I need the point when a person makes the niyyat, the intention that he is going to do the zikr of Ali ibn Abi Talib that is already accepted by Allah. The Prophet says, give your gatherings, zinat, with the remembrance of Ali ibn Abi Talib. Who is Ali? Our youngsters and our youth question this. And when the month of Muharram and Safar starts, there is one question that they are asked always by their friends. Who is Ali and who is Hussein? The answer is simple. If you want to understand who is Ali and who is Hussein, then firstly you need to understand who is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Because the people that keep questioning our youngsters, why do you do this? Why do you remember Ali? Why do you remember Hassan? Why do you remember Hussein? They have not understood as of yet who is Muhammad. Because if they understand who the final messenger of Allah is, and what was the purpose of the final messenger of Allah, then they have no need to question who is Ali. Because we have heard the hadith from the Holy Prophet of Islam, Husaynu minni wa ana min al Husayn. But the Holy Prophet also said, Ali is from me and I am from Ali. Why is it that the Holy Prophet of Islam, every time in his life, whenever he got the opportunity, he told people who is Ali, who is Fatima, who is Hassan, and who is Hussein? Because the Prophet knew that these people will never come to love Ahlul Bayt This is why Allah revealed in the Quran and I keep mentioning this if our youngsters can just learn this ayat of the Quran by heart then it is an answer for everything when every single person in Mecca, in Medina, every single Muslim Every single companion of the Holy Prophet, when they had revealed and received this religion of Islam, they came to the door of Rasulullah and said, Ya Rasulullah, you have made us insan. You have made us a Muslim. You have made some of us mu'min. You have made us believers of Allah. You have given us your risalat. You have given us this pure religion of Islam. You have given us a hajj. You have given us the blessings from Allah Azzawajal. What is it that we can give you in return? The Holy Prophet could have said anything. But the Prophet said, Oh people, you know that I do not speak without the command of Allah. And Allah says in the Quran, Oh Muhammad, tell them, قول لا أسألكم عليه أجرا 
الإنسان إلا المغدة في القربة أو رسول tell them that we want nothing less than the مغدة of أهل البيت we want nothing Allahumma I tell them that we want nothing less than the mabaddat of Ahlul Bayt now you all hear the word muhabbat every single youngster knows the meaning of love what is love I love you and you love me. You love your parents and your parents love you. And those that are fortunate to be married, you love your wife and your wife loves you. But Allah did not use the word muhabbat in the Quran. Allah used the word mabaddat. Mabaddat is that level which comes after muhabbat. Muhabbat is when you love someone and they love you. Allah says that I do not want the worldly love that you have between yourselves. But I want that love which is higher than muhabbat. And that level which which comes after muhabbat is mabaddat whether they love you or not it is wajib upon you that you love ahlul bayt there is no choice you cannot pick and choose and i always say this even in the madrasa to the children that islam is not a pick and mix you cannot go to the shop like you go when you go to select sweets. You pick those that you like and you leave those that you do not like. Islam is not like a shop of pick and mix that you attend the shop. Okay, I will take a hajj, I will take ziyarat, I will take a half of namaz, I will leave a Ramadan. And I will take the vilayat of Ali ibn Abi Talib, but I will leave the azadari of Imam Hussein. Islam is not like that. Islam is a full package. Islam is that pick and mix that has already been packed by Allah Azwajal. It starts with the Tawheed of Allah and ends with the Vilayat of Ahlul Bayt. You cannot choose in between whether you want to believe in only Allah because the Holy Prophet had said Lanat upon those people that said that Allah is sufficient for us. You cannot understand Allah without the Risalat of Rasulullah and the Vilayat of Ali ibn Abi Talib. And you cannot understand the Risalat without the Vilayat of Ali ibn Abi Talib. Every single thing that has been given to us, it is for our betterment. That's why the final message of Allah said, Ya Ali, no one can understand you without me and Allah and no one can understand me without you and Allah. Yani, if you want to understand the blessed religion of Islam, if you want to get all the benefits from the religion of Islam, then you have to come to the Risalat of Rasulullah and the Vilayat of Ali ibn Abi Talib. When they both come together, then your deen is mukammal. Yani, your deen. Yani, your deen is complete. On one side, you have the Risalat of Rasulullah. On the other side, you have the Vilayat of Ahlul Bayt. Because they are those blessed things that will be united with the Rasulullah on the day of Qiyamah. Imam Ali alayhi salatu has taught us everything that he learned from Rasulullah. And every single thing that Imam Ali learned from Rasulullah, he passed on to his children. And this is that pious line that Imams that we, the Shia of Ali, have chosen to follow. That every single saying 
from Imam Ali to Imam Mahdi is the same. Why? Because Abdullahna Muhammad, Awsutna Muhammad, Akhurna Muhammad. Because all of them in Kirdar, in Fail, in Qal are exactly like Muhammad the Messiah. There is nothing different. Imam Ali gave four lessons to his son Imam Hassan alayhi salatu wasalam. And these are the last few days of Ayam al -Azhar. And you know that when the moon of Muharram was seen, and I have been using this terminology for the past few months, that when the moon of Muharram was seen, every single believer of Ahlul Bayt, he took a open admission into the university of Imam Hussein. You hear about open university? You attend? Ayame Azhar are known as a open university for the believers of Ahlul Bayt. Why am I using the word open university? Because this is that university that you do not need to have any qualifications prior to you joining the Darsaga of Abba Abdullah. You know, when you are in secondary school, you have to complete and get a set of GCSEs before you are allowed into college. And once you are in college, you have to complete a certain amount of courses and obtain your A-levels before you are allowed access into the university. But this university of Imam Hussein, the only condition that you need to have is that you are a insan, a human. You don't even have to be a Muslim to learn from Abba Abdullah Hussein. You have to be insan. But then we see that even animals benefited from Ali Muhammad alayhi salatu This is the open university of Ahlul. And since the moon of Muharram was seen, every single person, every single child sitting here, every single person who is watching online, we took an admission into the university of Ahlul Bayt into the University of Imam Hussein. And these two months and eight days are coming to a close. And what happens when you take part in school, in college, in university, when your term ends, you are faced with exams. What is the exam from Ahlul Bayt? The exam is this, whether what you have learned from the moon of Muharram to the eve of 9th of Rabbiul Abbal, ah, you are going to implement that into your daily life. Because the, the Sada of Ali Muhammad is not something you listen to in one ear, out of the other. But the, the Sada of Ali Muhammad is this, that when it enters one ear, it goes and flushes your heart, purifies your body, and then you are exactly how Imam Ali expects his Shia to be. We are the Shia of Ali, so there are many responsibilities upon us. And the four lessons, and I want to give and hand over this member to my respected al Madin that has come first time to recite here in Wakefield. Imam Ali said to his son Hassan that the richest wealth a person can possess is not money, not gold, not silver. Amir al Mu'manin is saying, Take a lesson, my youngsters, my sons, today from this, and inshallah, until the arrival of Ayam e Azhar next year, inshallah, you can use this hadith to change yourself. Amir al Mu'manin is saying to Imam Hassan, The richest wealth that a person can possess is intellect, is knowledge. Knowledge is the best wealth that you can have. The second thing, Amir al-Mu'maneen is giving advice to Imam Hassan. He says that the greatest poverty that a person can be faced with 
is foolishness. Now we think that poverty is when we don't have money. But Amir al muminin is saying the wealth is knowledge and poverty is when a person is <coughs> foolish. When a person does not think what he's doing in life. And this is what we need to learn from Ahl Ali Muhammad. The third thing Amir al muminin says that the biggest donation that a person can give is his pride. Now, pride is such a thing that not every person is willing to give. We see that many people don't understand, uh, come to the majlis. Why? Because it is against their pride to sit on the floor. Many people don't come to the Farsha Azar because their pride does not permit them to sit on the floor, to sit on the soil. Many people are willing to give everything but not their pride. Amir al muminin is saying that the biggest donation that you can give is your pride. Your pride when it comes to Ali Muhammad, when it comes to in front of Allah Azawajal is nothing. We are ants in front of Allah Azawajal. We commit sins day after day. We are going against Allah. We are not reading namaz. We are not doing the tilawat of the Quran. But still, how merciful is Allah that we are still waking up every day, breathing. This is a blessing from Allah. The fourth and the final thing that Amir al muminin is saying, and this is that thing that every single person needs to understand, because it's, this is that thing that we can teach our children. Amir al muminin says that the noblest act that you can do is teach your children akhlaq. What is akhlaq? Akhlaq is how to sit in the majlis of Imam al Akhlaq is how to remember Imam Hussein when you are drinking water. Akhlaq is that you greet your elders. Akhlaq is that you love your parents. This is the door that has given us everything. But only if Muslims have understood who Ali Muhammad was, then after Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the family of Rasulullah would have not been paraded from town to town, from city to city. We see that after Rasulullah, the first person who fell victim to these Muslims because she wanted to save the vilayat of Ali ibn Abi Talib is no other than the daughter of Rasulullah Fatima al-Zahra. As a daughter, you have gathered and you will be carrying the alam of Babul Habaij. Who is Abbas? You ask. My children question, who is Abbas? Fatima al-Zahra is the name of that pious lady that in her life she did not ask for anything. Nothing from her father Rasulullah. Nothing from from Amir al muminin but when Fatima needed to ask Allah for something, Fatima asked for Abbas. Abbas came, and one day Abbas was in the city of Kufa. Amir al muminin is giving khutbah on the mimbar, and all of a sudden, Amir al muminin sees that Imam Hussein is entering the masjid as Imam Hussein enters Imam Hussein falls Abbas runs to the aid of Hussein seeing this Amir al muminin begins to cry and he says oh Abbas today Hussein has fallen and you have come to the help of Hussein but oh Abbas on the day Ya Ilahi, for the sake of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad, bless us all with the ma'rafat of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad. Ya Ilahi, 
give us the tawfiq that what we have learned in these ayam e husaini in these ayam e aza may we use that to change our lives so we can follow it upon the teachings of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad Ya Ilahi accept our du'as for the sake of Babul Hawaij all those that are ill give them shifa for the sake of Imam Sajjad Ya Ilahi Anjuman Ghulamane Aulad Zahra Salamullah Aleha every year organizes majalis, jishan, jumma, shabha jumma, ibadat for the mu'maneen every single person who is helping helping this idara Ya Allah give them barakat in their life and in their risk Ya Ilahi hasan the reappearance of our 12th Imam Allahumma ajil le waliye kal faraj Allahumma ajil le waliye kal faraj Allahumma ajil le waliye kal faraj Rabbi salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad bi rahmatika ya arham ar-rahimin for the acceptance of your du'at three times with the loudest of your voices loud salawat